Hello everyone. In today's video I'm going to be trying out this Dremel tool that I just picked up. And I'm going to see if I can use it to carve away at this rock here that I collected a while back to reveal these feldspar crystals. This is a Dremel brand, of course. And it is the 290. It comes with one tip, which is carbide, I believe. And this thing runs for 24 bucks. It's relatively inexpensive. The settings here are how far out this little tip will go, so one is the lowest setting, so less aggressive, five being higher. I'm going to see if this will do the job. You can buy different tips. Imagine with this tip here, it'll probably get worn out pretty quick using it on rock. Uh, it's probably recommended to get a diamond tip, or for this case with rock, probably a tungsten tip, maybe a wedge. This is just kind of a rounded tip. They make uh, like some wedge or carving edges. That would probably work better. So, I'm going to test it out. We're going to see if it can do the job. Of course, putting on the safety glasses. <laughs> Don't know if uh, any rocks going to go flying. Let's give this uh, a shot. As you can see, it's quite loud. See, removed some material. I'm going to turn up the setting to 2. We'll see if that does any better. More aggressive. It's actually revealing it quite nicely. The oxidated layer is where it was previously covered. I'm going to change it up a little bit and I'm going to work on the, the uh, quartz here. Changing it back to low, one, just so I don't damage anything. Good job. It's a little slow. I could turn up the settings. So I'm going to turn it up to the highest setting. I'm going to see if I can remove this chunk here in front of the feldspar and reveal more of it. If you can tell, quartz is quite hard, so even on the highest setting, it's having a hard time getting through this stuff. But it's definitely, over time, you can reveal more of the crystal. Definitely revealing more feldspar slowly.
a closer look at this, so it did clean it up for it being hard quartz and just a card by tip. Yeah, you can see where it was previously covering this crystal. Uh, there is a crack there, and uh, these feldspar crystals usually have cleavage that will split them right down the middle, so that's why that crack's forming. So it's probably best for me not to remove any more material there. I removed a little bit there and in between here. This one was a bit of a pain. I did get some more removed, as you can see. Um, but this stuff here was a little bit hard, and the tip is definitely getting worn out. It wasn't probably intended to be worked on with quartz. As you can see earlier, I put a little chip in that crystal there. A little bummed about that, but it's not that big of a deal. It's not like this is a world-class specimen or anything. <laughs> but I think I'm going to call it right about there. And maybe in the future, if I get a better tip, maybe I'll go at it again for that sample. Taking a look at the tip here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that in focus. It is no longer sharp. It is quite rounded and worn out. I mean, it still has a bit of a point. It'll still do the job. It's just taking forever. So and I, this thing's getting a little hot. Not, not really, but maybe it's because of the bright lights I have. But if I get some tungsten tips and stuff that's actually designed for rock, maybe some diamond tips, it'd probably go a little easier. So that's that sample. All right, so next, move this aside. I have this slab right here. This is a slab of the Pritchard formation of the Belt Supergroup. I collected this in Idaho. And as you can see, all those little shiny reflective surfaces are pyrite cubes. There's the cubes, as you can see. Let me move this around a little bit for you. There's a cube there. There's cubes everywhere on this slab. You can see there's a little piece of rock covering that cube. And I believe it's just barely holding on. So what I'm going to try is to use the engraving tool to chip off these old chips and hopefully reveal more pyrite cubes. However, I don't want any noticeable grooves in this slab. So I'm going to be careful and I'm going to have this on the lowest setting. We're going to see if we can reveal that little cube right there. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to happen. With this being sedimentary rock, it's uh, obviously a lot softer. And that carbide tip, even though we wore it out with the hard feldspar, well, feldspar is not hard, but the hard quartz, it still slabs right through this, no problem. So all that's doing is just kind of making a mess of my slab. After using the engraver, it does chip away a little bit, it's not perfect, so I'm actually going to stop using the engraver tool on this just because I don't want any noticeable scratches and grooves caused by it on here because this is a pretty nice slab. And I want to keep it clean. You can, you can tell I did something here, and then of course right there is a little messy now, but um, I think the best way to clean this up is to use a little pick or like a little flathead screwdriver and just kind of chip away um, carefully to reveal a little bit more cubes. As you can see, quite a bit of them are hidden away underneath these little slabs that look like they're just about ready to peel off, as you can see right there. But this is a pretty nice piece of Pritchard formation. And there's the sedimental layers right there on the side. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna finish up with this slab of sedimentary rock. This is a slab of, of course, sedimentary rock, but it's from the Republic Graben in Republic, Washington. They have a fossil dig site where you pay a small fee and they let you uh, dig fossils. Some of the fossils they will keep, but uh, if you find really good ones, but most of the ones you find, you'll get to keep yourself. Mainly the ones they would keep is if you by chance happen to find a fish fossil. Anyways, I'm going to see if the engraving tool will help remove some of this material without cutting into it to reveal that leaf right there. Now. There are different tips you can get for the engraving tool, of course, one of them being a wedge. That would actually probably be the most useful, but let's give it a shot on a low setting and see what it does. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, oh yeah, so a little different on this rock. So to an extent it does work, but uh, on this thicker piece of sedimentary rock, it just didn't want to cut through. So the rounded tip works for some situations. Also, this one's pretty worn out now thanks to the quartz rock. If you were using this on sedimentary rock alone, just that uh, provided carbide tip, it worked probably pretty well. So in the future, I'm gonna look into getting some wedge tips and some different tips for different work. Cause I think if I had a wedge, that would do a decent job of cutting and prying away these slabs to reveal flat leaf fossils. And then for actually digging and engraving around certain objects, uh, probably a tungsten point would do pretty well, or maybe a smaller wedge. So in a weird way, this is kind of like a little review of this engraver tool. And this is just my impressions of it right out of the box. It'll do the job. Only thing is, this cord is a little short and it gets in the way and adds uh, a little bit of weight to your wrist over time. So, but I'm gonna look into getting some more tips and maybe in the future here, I'll see if, about collecting some cooler rocks and maybe it'll become our fossil engraving tool because it seems to be a popular thing to use to do fossil cleanup. So that'll conclude this video. This Dremel tool does a pretty decent job with just the provided tip. However, getting some other tips would definitely improve uh, what I'd be able to do with different rocks and different situations. So hopefully I'll be able to get some cool rocks here in the future. There's a spot I wanna see if I can find some trilobites and we'll use this tool, which seems to be a pretty common tool for uh, people doing fossil prep. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps out the channel and uh, I'll be able to make some more future videos, hopefully pretty soon. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Y'all take care.